everybody. Roger says hey. Scarlet says hey. <laughs> so today we're doing something a little different. It's been a while since I've listened to any sort of like patriotic music. I've done it quite a bit for the UK. I listened to the Welsh national anthem, but we're going to be moving over to Finland today. This is going to be a Patreon request from Waldorf73. He said, many moons ago you expressed a wish to listen to the full version of a national anthem and look at the lyrics at the same time. So far British patriotic songs have been grossly overrepresented, <laughs> so now it's time to tilt the balance somewhat. The following playlist combined length nine minutes consists of four of the most hallowed and patriotic Finnish songs. All songs have Finnish and English subtitles. So this should be fun to look at another country's patriotic songs. I don't think I've heard the Finnish national anthem other than just a few seconds of it when I did those videos on like guess the national anthem. It'll be interesting to see if I remember it from that at all. It looks like the national anthem is going to be the first one we're going to listen to. These are very short songs, about two minutes long. So we're going to go through and we're going to listen to each song kind of one after the other. And I'm going to have to have all of you people from from Finland who watch my channel explain to me probably some of the significance behind these songs. But I do think it's pretty cool exploring some of the patriotic songs of other countries because it does help kind of highlight their history a little bit, learn a little bit more about their culture. All right, so let's do it. Let's take a look at Finland's national anthem first and then we're gonna move on from there. Mamme. How do you say that? Oi ma me so just kept repeating over and over again kind of like I started feeling like I could almost hum along with it. <laughs> so what I liked about this is I like these lyrics there's no valley no mountain no lake or shore more deer and I think that's true of everywhere you kind of feel like that about your home country like obviously that's where you live that's the culture you grew up in that's where you were raised and so I think we as humans get so caught up in like competition between countries and with each other and cultures and all of that stuff we forget that people in Finland, you know, feel the same way about their country as people here in the United States feel about ours, for instance. I think it's just a really cool thing to kind of keep in mind. I also think it's interesting how they call this the northern homeland and they constantly refer to themselves as, you know, the north, the northern land. I mean, obviously Finland is one of the most northern 
countries in Europe, so it makes sense, but I didn't know that you guys refer to yourselves like that. This also was interesting, the one day from your bud you will blossom, and then this entire verse of the national anthem had a future tense aspect to it, then our love shall be roused, like as in the future, your glorious hope and joy. So it's almost like they're looking to the future for Fenland to like maybe reach his full potential or something, I'm not really sure what the meaning is exactly behind those, but I thought that that was really interesting where a last year's song, O Fatherland, will sound louder. So it's almost like they're they're hoping for something in the future for the country, for Finland. It makes me think that this song was written at a time maybe where things weren't that great in Finland. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know the meaning behind that. Maybe I'm trying to read too much into it. If you're from Finland, fill me in on the details with that. Okay, so this next one we're gonna listen to, basically I can't, I don't know what hymne means. I'm guessing hymn. So it's a Finnish hymn. And the description of this video just says that this is one of Finland's most important songs. So you guys are going to have to, again, probably explain a bit of the, the meaning behind this for me. I don't know, I might be able to figure it out from the lyrics. We didn't know this. This is a church hymn <laughs> that I used to sing growing up. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. And I don't I don't remember what the name of the hymn was. Okay, so did you guys take the music from that hymn and put your own lyrics to it? Or did the church steal the, the tune from Finland <laughs> and put their own lyrics to it? Let me go back to the beginning here. Okay, I love that tune just because I grew up uh, singing that tune to a hymn and I can remember some of the lyrics of the hymn that I sang, but I don't remember the name of the actual one. Also, the scenery re right here is really cool. I love these islands right here with the trees just jutting up. I guess these are, I don't know if these are pine trees or just some other sort of evergreen trees. Yeah, so that's that's really cool looking actually. I'm not even sure I've seen uh, little islands like this before where the trees go right up to the edge. Like, it doesn't even look like there's any room to walk around hardly or anything on the islands but okay so this song i'm starting to put some pieces together here so i don't know the history of finland but it sounds like there is some some sort of like really dark past oppressive past for finland and they are coming out of that and becoming i guess independent i don't know like that's kind of the vibe i'm getting between this song and that second verse of the national anthem but i really like this song i think just because i'm familiar with the 
the tune already. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. I am curious though now, like which came first, the hit, the like church hymn or did this song come first? Okay, so this next one we're gonna watch, it says that this is a Finnish march and the honorary march of the Finnish defense forces and also is honorary march of the president of Finland and the commander of Estonian defense forces. Okay, so this is gonna have a link to Estonia as well. So is there like a historical um, link between Estonia and Finland? Well, you guys are right next to each other, aren't you? So that would probably make sense. All right, let's have a look at this one then. So this is gonna be probably a bit more of a military sounding thing. <laughs> sounds like it's kind of encompassing a lot of the military campaigns throughout Finland's history. And of course, I have watched the video on the Winter War and man, the Finnish military had a lot of guts and perseverance against the, the Russians and that. You know, seeing stuff like this really, really helps to kind of broaden your horizons a little bit because obviously being American right now, we have what's considered like the most powerful military on earth, right? And you tend to get caught up in that, you know, living here. But then you see stuff like this in your just kind of reminded that, hey, if I lived in Finland, then I would be just as proud probably of the fin Finnish military. And as an American, I just don't know a whole lot about it, you know, other than what I saw in, in the Winter War. But obviously the pictures there showed like a Navy, an Air Force. It sounds stupid. This sounds incredibly stupid and naive and ignorant what I'm saying right now, but it's just, I feel like the, the American military and maybe the militaries of other countries like Russia, China, the UK, the bigger ones, really, really kind of take up most of the attention on the world stage, you know? I think a lot of these uh, smaller countries kind of get lost in all of that. And I would assume that Finland is probably an ally of the United States as well. And so I would be interested to know like what sort of cooperation there is between the US military and the Finnish military. Anyway, I hope you guys don't take that the wrong way. I'm not trying to be demeaning at all towards Finland. I'm just saying that I think it's a shame that Americans, we tend to kind of forget about the, re the rest of the world a lot of the times. And this just shows like what a rich, culture there is out there in all of these other countries that we just have no clue about, you know, and I just, I really enjoy getting to, um, to see this stuff and just to kind of, like I said, it, it really opens your mind and, and broadens your horizons about the world. So I really like it. All right, let's go on to our last song right here. Oh my goodness, this name. Oh, how in the world do you even say that? Yakar Remarsi? <laughs> Jaegersmark? 
March? I feel like I've heard of this before. Is it, if it's pronounced Jaeger's March, I feel like I've heard of this before, the name of it. So I don't know. We'll see if I recognize the music or not. But the description of the this uh, video does not give me any information about it. All right, let's check this one out. <laughs> Hang on, I just... I got taken away by the music and this is like intense. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the lyrics. Deep is our blow, our wrath is invincible. Okay, well this is taking it to the enemy. Wow. <laughs> okay, I wasn't quite prepared for that last one. <laughs> oh my gosh. The lyrics were vicious at the start of that. Oh my. So my favorite of those four songs was the second one just because Again, it's a hymn that I'm familiar with and it's a really pretty tune and I love listening to it. But that last song is definitely the most memorable <laughs> out of the four. Again, there were hints in there in the lyrics of Fenland like rising up and overcoming. So I guess another mention of this past this history of some sort. Now, I'm sure that the Finland's history spans over centuries. I'm not sure when this was written either, if it was written after the Winter War or if it was written before it or not. So I don't know if any of that was referring maybe to its war with Russia. Finland, is, their military is not forgiving if, they, <laughs> if they, they're coming at you. Look out. All right, well, that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool journey through not only the patriotic songs, but I feel like there's some history there that, of course, I don't, I'm not familiar with, but I can certainly become familiar with it. If you guys can let me know down in the comments what some of this stuff was referring to, maybe I will have a sense of like where to go to, to learn more about this. And again, also interested in some of the ties between the Finnish military and the American military, like how do we work together and all of that. And maybe just more about the Finnish military in general. Maybe it would be cool to just learn about that as well. But thanks Waldorf for sharing this with all of us. I certainly had a lot of fun listening to the, the music. I hope you guys did too. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for 
for more content like this in the future. You can also check out my description in the pinned comment below for links to my Patreon where I do videos over there that I don't do over here on YouTube. I also have all of my social media PO box info down there if you're interested to check that out. And I have my Star Trek podcast link as well for all of you Trekkies out there if you want to go explore that. Anyway, Roger here and I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more coming up soon and we'll see you next time.